Hi YouTube, I am back again doing another experiment. About four years ago, I purchased one of those uh, cheap uh, Chinese Yagi antennas from eBay, uh, which actually never worked. Uh, the uh, SWR was terrible, it was always over four. Uh, the gain on the uh, antenna was very low. And what you see here is this dip pole, which came with the antenna, as you can see, on a 73 ohm coax cable, which is out of specifications. Also, the diameter of the dip pole is nothing near to 2.4 gigahertz. So, uh, I had a spare uh, dip pole that I made during my experiments and I decided to modify the uh, Chinese uh, antenna over there, which you see over there, the above and middle antennas you've seen on my other experiments. And now I did this modification to the uh, cheap Chinese uh, uh, antenna. I removed all the uh, metal brackets that were here and they were very close to here, uh, which were uh, 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 not tuning well the antenna, so I removed everything from the back and I installed this dip pole, which has a, a matching circuit typical to the uh, um, commercial antennas, which means it has a 50 ohm cable going through the inside of half of this circle and then connected to the coax going down. Now, in order to see how this uh, antenna performs, I now have connected this antenna on my uh, alpha card which you will see now. Which is giving us <coughs> a good signal strength of minus 56 dB and bear with me a few uh, seconds while I change the antenna and put the uh, low antenna on, on here. Sorry, I don't have a, a camera holder, so every time I want to change something, I have to put the uh, camera down. So, okay, I've now disconnected the uh, middle antenna and connecting the low antenna with the uh, new modified uh, folded dipole. And let's see what we get. I was amazed from the results. Okay, you can see where I disconnected the middle antenna and connected the uh, low antenna. So now it's giving us a signal of minus 55, 54 dB, which is 1 to 2 dB better than the middle antenna. I was actually amazed because with this dipole connected it was giving me minus 68 which means it wasn't working at all. Uh, now the difference on the Chinese antenna is that the uh, aluminiums uh, one centimeter thick where on the antennas I built were 0 0.6 sorry six millimeters thick and the boom was one centimeter here the boom is 1.6 centimeters the spacing between the directors is exactly the same as this antenna here uh, this has the same length 
all through the antenna where here the length gets bigger and bigger and bigger uh, because the dimensions are, are different this uh, folded dipple has uh, 56 millimeters from side to side where this one here has 58 millimeters side to side so let me uh, connect uh, the SWR meter uh, which also the SWR meter came out very well a very good signal so hold on a second So here we go. As you can see on the uh, center frequency of 2.440, I'm getting a SWR of 1.273. You can also see on the plot that I'm getting a very wide band signal here which means it can uh, uh, it can resonate on a wide band starting for, um, from from uh, 2400 up to 2520 so i'm getting a very good result so that's it with the uh, chinese modification if anyone has bought one of these antennas the only thing you need to do is make a dipole with a commercial type of uh, circuitry and this is how to do it actually you need a block of aluminium drill a hole in the center like that uh, cut your uh, uh, copper pipe. The pipe is actually six millimeters thick and then you can open or close the uh, diameter of the dipole and if you have a SWR meter you can actually see where it resonates. So you, you can actually open the dipole or, or close the dipole where it resonates to the frequency you want. Then if you want to adjust it, SWR, you just push the dipole that way or that way on this. So this is uh, my design of the uh, folded dipole, which has nothing to do with this cheap Chinese thing. So you can actually see that the uh, diameter is smaller. Let's put it up here also. You can see the diameter. So that's it for now, YouTubers. Hope you can get your antennas working. Bye.